We're back again today to talk about uh, striped bass fishing and we've got some new rods and reels to look at. We're going to be talking about spin fishing for the bass and blues. And when you talk about spinning rods for bass and blues, especially in New England, there are a million options. I pulled out a couple combos just to give you an idea. You can start at the low end of the spectrum. This is a pen fierce with a pen fierce combo rod. And this is definitely not the bottom as far as where you can be price point wise, but this is kind of where we start here at j and um, This is a great quality reel, very durable, and it's a good rod. And this is a little bit more of a boat style spin, which I don't particularly prefer, but a lot of guys like it because it's pretty generic and they want to be able to put quite a bit of pressure to the fish. So this is going to fish plugs okay, unless it's a bigger plug. It's going to fish bait pretty well. It'll double as like a bottom rod. So if you're trying to cover a couple different things with it, it works well. Um, great for snag and bunker, a kid's rod if they're getting into it and they want to throw some bigger, bigger lures or if they want to fish bait off the shoreline. Um, but it comes in lighter and heavier combos. So it's, it's not like you're governed just to this. We're just trying to create a starting point. And this, this combo here would be a great option for somebody to start with. What you want to look at is this has an aluminum body so it's going to be very durable um, it's got a good drag this has a hollow bail wire so that it reduces like if you're going to bang it bending the bail wire that's a chronic problem and all the new pen spin reels have infinite and a reverse so you don't have to worry about the reel spinning backwards with the, the little dog lever on the bottom what pound test do you recommend this outfit would be designed more for like a 30 pound braid or a 20 pound mo 15 to 20 pound mono again the, the outfit is a little bit heavy but it's more what the new angler is looking for because when you show them something light like we're going to go to next they get a little intimidated they don't think that that can handle the fish and really it's about drag and how the rod performs and again keeping in the same you know system as we've been talking about all these rods and reels you want to start generic at the lower price point and as you get higher the rods get more specific so the problem is there's not one option when you when you're at the lower price point you have fewer options you know and they'll all accomplish the same thing to step it up we went to the not the highest end but we we jumped right up to a Loomis E6X with a Stratic which is probably our go-to combo here in the shop for a higher end angler. The Stratic accomplishes everything you want from a high end spin reel. You can step it up to, you know, a, a Sustain or a Stella or a different, you know, reel in that same caliber, but the Stratic does what you need. The other option is on the rod. We went to an E6X. This is a fairly light tipped rod, but it has a lot of backbone. I don't know, Guy, if you can step into the video for a second there and just grab that and we're putting a tremendous amount of pressure on this and, it, and it's got a nice light tip to be able to cast a lure and again when you're picking a, a rod out it's about matching the lure with the line class on the rod and everything like that so you want the lure to load the rod to give you maximum distance but then you want a tip action that's going to be able to work that lure and it's all about presentation so if you're choosing a pop and plug you want enough tip action to work that popper and pull it through the water so it gives a nice splash. But if you're trying to work a soft plastic, you may need a lure with a lighter tip. If you want to throw bait, you're going to need a different rod. And so there's not one right answer. We're just trying to give you some of the things to ask about and things to decide before you're going to purchase a rod and reel. You want to make sure you kind of get dialed in. Am I looking for a specific rod for a specific purpose? And if so, ask the right questions regarding that. And if you're looking for something a little more generic because you're just getting into it, then you want something that's gonna cover all your bases. And that's where something either here or in between these two will do that. And if you have questions about a combo or what you should be asking, feel free to comment on the video and we'll get back to you so we can point you in the right direction. And I'm also assuming if I don't know all the right questions, you'll ask me a lot of questions to try to discover. Oh, definitely. Need, right? You know, like when someone comes in, it, unfortunately, I feel a little redundant. And, you know, we, we start out and I ask them what price point they're at, what 
they're going to be targeting? Are you going to be specific? Do you want it to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that? That those types of things. And we start with the rod that way, and then we move on to the reel. What's the uh, cost of that high-end combo, and what's the pound test that that one's rated for? The rods, all these E6X rods come in at the $200 price point. So this is $189, $199 that price, oh. and this is Loomis is basically their introductory rod, and then. The reel is 239, um, and that's, like I said, the Stratic line from Shimano has been in the series forever, and it's one of our go-to reels. One reel I just wanna mention in this lineup too, because we didn't cover it on this end, is the Pen Battle. is a great option to be in the middle of these two with a little bit more performance than the Fierce, but still not as lightweight and finesse as the Stratic. Thanks again for watching another segment on striper fishing with spinning gear and trying to pick the right combo. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if not, in the meantime, try to stop by the shop and visit us someday. Thanks again for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. And until next time, enjoy your adventures.